Now this is quite strange. Gold Coast Airport Disruption Index 5. Why are all the flights here cancelled? I truly... Uh, everything's been cancelled. Huh? The cyclone has thrown travel plans into chaos right across the country. Rory Campbell is at Melbourne Airport tonight. Rory, many travellers are now stranded. Ah, okay, I see. Everybody, the Cyclone Alfred is, as we speak, hitting the Gold Coast of Australia land. And the first thing, such weather effects, is, of course, air travel. I hope, you know, not much destruction is actually happening on land and everyone is safe. But yes, no airline right now is flying through the skies of the East Coast for good reasons. We've got quite a lot of wind reported here, but everybody, there is one airline that sure will keep flying no matter the weather. Everybody, welcome to Swiss 001 Airlines. And here in the flight simulator, we're able to see the cyclone. Look at the circlic movement here of the storm as we see the clouds. We're going to see how much is the weather affecting flying. And we're going to start our journey here at an island off Australia, Lord Howie Island. We've been there. It's got an interestingly short runway. Question is, how bad is the situation right now? Okay, welcome to Lord Howie Island. It's just a bit cloudy so far and a little bit rainy so far as well, as we can tell here on the wind screen. And we can hear just a little bit of wind here. Just a little bit. Let's see how the 737 copes around here, huh? Everything is fine. APU's turning on nice. We've got a nicely working aircraft. Let's turn on the engines, which is working fine. Yes, look at that. Now, right now, Lord High Island is only reporting 25 knots of wind. Once we go over to maybe the Gold Coast Airport over here, it's probably gonna, lot, gonna get a lot worse because this is where the storm is at. All right, so let us start taxing here. We're, of course, on this relatively short runway, and we're gonna use the other side here. This windsock isn't very promising, to be honest though that is the maximum wind sockage so this probably be beyond limits you know and something i would be definitely afraid of here is the ocean waves i can imagine real life this airport is probably flooded now that's a lot of wavage let's go ahead and see if we can take up with a 737 and fly somewhat there's another splash of rain coming we might while we take off turn on the windshield wipers they don't help at all okay great let's take off now at the lord howie island come on full power and we've got quite a lot of wind blowing here oh geez okay come on let's take off at least it's not crosswind it's pretty much just headwind so yeah there we go taking off works very nicely very easily and we are flying somewhat we can tell a little bit of wing flex here but other than that despite a whole 25 knots of pretty nasty wind we're able to fly out of here it's just that landing here probably won't be happening because the airport does not have any ILS or anything and we have no visibility or anything so uh, that's that but look so far not bad let's see if we can perform a landing here at all and we all know how dangerous it can be to land a plane in high wind look at the wing flex here okay flying through rain clouds this is what an approach into lord howie island looks like right now so far the airplane isn't falling apart though one major issue though is that this runway isn't lit so i cannot see where it you know where it is this isn't very comfortable and we are quite fast as well where is the damn run it is Oh, I can see the runway now. Oh, great for a change. Okay, let's uh, see if we can do a landing. All right, there we go. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. That's not been that hard. Let's go ahead and stop full braking. No trouble at all, though. I think we should move on to where the actual cyclone is at right now. Everybody, Gold Coast Airport it is. Doesn't look good at all. Now, Gold Coast Airport itself is interesting because this runway is literally divided by two time zones. So, um... That's something to say. Also, we're probably not going to make it. Let's go take off. We can do it. Full power. Now, something that worries me a bit is that there's no rain here at all, which isn't always a good sign, to be honest. But hey, it improves visibility. Our speed is alive. Let's see. Our instruments are about to catch up to the wind speeds here. And look at the wind. That is not a very good looking wind suck. We are actually taking off with tail. I've taken off from the wrong runway, which doesn't make uh, our performance any better. Oh, wow. Okay, come on. Take off now. We're using the whole runway. Shut up. What's that about? Yes, we have done it. After using the whole runway, there's actually AI traffic here. Hello. Sorry about that. We have taken off from Gold Coast Airport. And well, you know, the wing flex is there. This uh, looks a little bit worrying. But other than that, we are somehow flying. Now it is time to test whether the airplane could actually fly here. Turn on the autopilot. 
like that. Let's go ahead and select a heading to the right. We want to head out to the ocean. Okay, we have 60 knots of wind here at 3,000 feet, and that really makes the airplane struggle to climb. Okay, I don't see much. We're just flying through clouds. Now, yes, again, I'm aiming to fly here like, quite near the coast, but above ocean, because here, especially at the Goat Coast, this is where the wind gets really bad. Look, we're at 60 knots of straight crosswind. And I don't see a single thing. That's great. Here we are flying through a proper cyclone. And the interesting thing is, it's not that deadly, is it? The wing is barely moving. Stop complaining, Australia. This is rookie winds. Look, there's even a rainbow here. I don't see at all how they would have canceled those flights. But the main question is, well, how can we land in this type of weather? The good thing about Gold Coast Airport, which we're landing at again, is that it, of course, has full-on ILS. So what I'm going to try to do is have the airplane land itself, because we don't really see anything, to be honest. Let's put the landing gear down. This is quite an uncertain flight. I have no idea where we are. We've got 53 knots of wind. And let's turn on the approach mode here. And both autopilots. And so we should be able to see this airplane be somewhat able to land itself. I have no idea. Uh, let's put the flaps down. And we're at 2,600 feet. It doesn't quite look like it. Hello, town. And down here, the winds are a lot worse. Look at this. There are already 53 knots of wind. That's crazy. Shut up with your airspeed low. You're fine. Airspeed low. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. The good thing is we're in the ocean, so winds aren't very variable. Not that turbulent wind either. Look. That means this flight's going to go quite well. Uh -huh. Okay, this is not a very stable flight now. I think the flight center doesn't really simulate the turbulence quite well here, to be honest. 1,000. Uh, check. I don't have. I don't have the runway in sight. Uh, and now the wind. Oh, now the rain is kicking in. This is quite scary now. I wonder if the autopilot's going to be able to handle this. Now it's getting a little bit worse. Once we get lower to the ground, uh, we're just trusting. That I would abort the landing by now. Those wings aren't supposed to shake as much. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, fly yourself. Fly yourself. Down there is runway. Down there is runway. Autopilot is still doing it well. Uh, semi well. Here it is. We've got a little bit of shakiness coming through here. Oh, okay. Quite a lot of cross windage. Turn. Uh, this is genuinely frightening now. I've, I have no idea. I'm just really trusting the autopilot. Please don't. Please, whatever you do, autopilot, please don't disengage. And now we're too. Okay, that is a very unstable flight. That's. Uh oh, probably gonna make the hardest landing in the universe. And now it's messing up. Okay, just land. Okay, it's gonna make a really hard landing now, isn't it? Okay, now it has to idle the engine for flare, and it's over flaring. But it's coming in for landing, look. That was genuinely quite firm, but look at that! That was totally survivable. I don't get at all how these airlines aren't flying here anymore. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that works well, but something that very much daunts me. It's the idea of having to do a crosswind landing here. The good thing is that all these runways here are kind of facing the direction of the wind, which means we've got nice headwind. Luckily, though, the airport of Berlina right here down there, where there's equally lots of wind, has a runway that faces directly the crosswind of... of this is not going to go well. Now, I can kind of hear wind here. Let's take a look at how, how the crosswind is like here. Probably would be illegal to operate this plane here because this is above crosswind limitation. Okay, airplane's kind of rolling off here. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that is is 40 what the f okay clearly looks like extra oh we oh no 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 that was almost we're about oh oh that was a wing strike oh that was an engine strike that is not gone well look at that i don't even want to do a landing but we're gonna do it anyway oh 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 all right you're fine we're gonna do this we're gonna land here nicely just uh, keep I me mean, we're at the point where the passengers can see the runway better than i can to be honest we've got quite uh changing wind speeds here with the airplane being directly targeted here from the left and now it feels like we're flying a lot faster okay come on let's do it whoa okay let's touch her down oh okay oh that was actually a smooth landing there just make sure not to hit that wing. Okay, there we go. Let's stop. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, that's close. No, stop. All right, there we go. We uh, we have survived this one as well. I mean, all I can say is we've definitely flown into worse on the channel. You know, hurricanes and stuff. I hope, though, once again, not much destruction will happen now that the Cyclone Alfred is hitting the Gold Coast. Hope everyone stays safe. But theoretically, planes could fly, should they? No. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night.
And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.